Hello and welcome to the Open Solar video on proposal templates. This video will cover how to edit your proposal template as well as going through how the changes are reflected in both the My Energy and the PDF versions of the template. To get started, we're starting here in the My Energy zone, which is the third zone from the left on the bottom toolbar. This is a preview of what the customer can see in the proposal. All of these sections you see here can be changed, and you can also download all of these as a PDF. You can change the order of each of these sections and toggle them on or off, as well as being able to add in your own custom content. I'll be showing you how to edit this, which is in the control zone. Once you go to the control zone, go on the left hand sidebar and underneath the sales and marketing section, click on the proposal templates. If it's your first time visiting this section, it will be blank with no proposal templates so far. You can create one by going to the top right and clicking on plus create. Then you can simply enter in a title for your proposal and also set it to be the default and click the save button. From here, you can then click on the view button. This will allow you to edit the proposal template. We're going to be going through each of the sections, so through proposal settings, cover page template, standard page template, and proposal content. Starting out with the proposal settings section, we can see the first field here is the default proposal validity in days. This is used in order to set the expiry date of the proposal and it's based on when the proposal was created as well and then we'll populate the placeholder for when it expires. You can change this to any amount of days that you like. After this we can see a list of the different sections. All of these can be turned on or off by toggling them and you can also reorder each of these as well. So you can see here, you can toggle this on or off and reorder using the arrows on the right hand side. So you can move that down and then move it back up again. I'll be going through each of these sections. So the cover page message is the pop up message that you see on the My Energy page. This can be edited also in the proposal template, which we'll get to in a minute. And if you turn this off and then save it, and if we come back here and refresh the page, you'll see that there's actually no pop up this time in the My Energy Zone. So you can do the same for each of the other sections as well, turning them on or off or reordering them as well. We can turn this one back on now. Some of the sections you'll notice are in PDF only, which means that they won't be showing up in the online version and will only be applicable when you're downloading the PDF. We can see the system details, system performance, environmental benefits, how your system works, and a few other of these fields, which again, you can turn on or off and move around within that section. So the system hardware here is the system details section. The system performance one here is referring to this system performance graph. The environmental benefits, this refers to this environmental benefits here. And the how your system works is referring to this infographic just here. So there are various other fields and you can see the payment options um, and a few other ones. If we turn on this daily energy flows graph, this is one of the ones that's turned off by default. And then we save it. If we then revisit the My Energy page and refresh it, we can then see this change reflected. If we come down to the system performance section and if we click on this daily energy profile button, 
we can actually see the hourly simulations of the generation, consumption, and also export. You can see there's various other financial details that you can turn on or off. And there's also this business video section here. So there's the option to um, show the business video um, and embed it in the, in the My Energy page. So if we turn all of these on, we can see what they all look like in the My Energy page. Next steps is the section that you can actually um, edit with your own custom content, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Case studies is a section in control, which you can turn on or off, just here, and you can actually add in case studies there. Your terms and conditions is managed in your business details, so up the top, business details there. And the action buttons are the buttons at the bottom of the My Energy proposal. So you saw there it said online only, and it's these buttons here. If you include your next steps and your case studies, they'll also appear there. And the brochures and the spec sheets are for any extra file attachments that you choose to include. And you can see here, we also have the three custom content blocks that you can turn on or off. So after all of this, we have the featured figures. And so these featured figures are referring to the top four figures up here. So you can have a maximum of four figures here, and you can customize what these are. So say for example, if we wanted to replace the net system price, we can see, uh, we can scroll through here and actually choose from a list of different featured figures um, to choose from. Just beneath here is where you can paste in the YouTube video link to embed that video in your proposal, as we talked about a bit earlier. And then this next section here, um, refers to the PDF, and you can see here you can choose whether you want the selected systems to be included in the PDF, or all of the systems to be included in the PDF. So if you have multiple systems designed, you can either just include the one which is currently highlighted, there's only one system here, but if you had multiple it would just include the one which is currently highlighted, or if you switched it over to the, to the all um, option, then it would actually include all of the system options that are shown there. And it's the same thing here with payment options as well. After this, you have the exhibit settings, which I would recommend just leaving to turned on. However, it's there if you want to really um, exclude any product types from a um, proposal. But I would recommend leaving these just as the default. After this, we have the cover page template section. So here, you can see you can enter in the cover page image. Um, which refers to um, the image shown in the PDF on the very first page. Um, you can also enter in just above there, you can see the cover page title as well. This will also refer to the title of the proposal that's shown. You have the co-branding logo here, which will appear in the top right of both the online and the PDF versions of the proposal. And then after this, we have the cover page message, which is where you can customize this cover page message that's shown here. So you can see it's using the placeholders. So there's gray bubbles, and it's actually embedding from the project details. So you can see here, you can insert placeholders by using this button and actually draw dynamically on that content. Here it refers to the headers which is again applicable only to the PDF, um, and you can customize what each of these header columns is. Um, this is referring to the project valid until date, which is um, relevant to what we talked about earlier with the um, project validity number of days. Um, and then we can see the um, footers as well, again for the cover page and referring to the PDF. This standard page template section um, just has one in here, so it's the standard page footer which goes in the footer of the PDF.
So if we actually come back to the My Energy page now um, and download all of this as a PDF, uh, we can have a look at how some of these look. So once you've downloaded the PDF, you can see here some of the fields. So that's the cover page image there. Here are the cover page headings, um, headers, sorry, and the um, cover page footers as well are shown there, um, as well as the general standard page footer is also shown there. Coming back to the control zone, we can now go to the final section in the proposal template, which is proposal content. This about us section um, will draw on your about us from your business details. So that's a placeholder there. You can also add additional info um, in that text box if you would like. And all of that will be shown um, just here in the proposal. So you can see there, that's the about us section. Next steps is the section I mentioned a bit earlier, which is a, um, a custom content block. And you can then see we have the three generic content blocks here as well, um, which you can choose to add in um, whatever info you'd like. Um, also use placeholders um, and also move them anywhere around in both the PDF and the My Energy proposal. So you can create some great content in there using images, placeholders and other text formatting. Here we have the option to um, include or exclude the total system price from the quotation table um, and also show a price per watt calculation there. So if we exclude that and then save it here, if we then go back to the My Energy page um, and reload that page, and then if we come down to the very bottom, we can see that total system price has now disappeared from the quotation table. You also have the option here to customize the headings of each of the different sections. So these can be changed to um, whatever you'd like. Um, an example of this would be here, system hardware, that's the heading there. Um, you can change that one over. After this, we then have the disclaimers. These disclaimers um, appear as gray text um, and all of the disclaimers, um, except for the financial details, um, will appear at the very bottom of the My Energy page. So you can see here the bill savings disclaimer will appear directly beneath the bill savings in the My Energy page. Um, so we can see it just here underneath the graphs. Uh, whereas all of the other, other um, disclaimers will appear at the very bottom together. However, inside the PDF, um, each of these disclaimers will actually appear um, beneath their relevant sections. Um, so you can see here, um, for example, the system performance disclaimer is displayed directly beneath the system performance um, section. So you can enter in whatever you'd like into those, again using the placeholders and text um, to include any relevant disclaimers. And after you've made all these changes, just ensure you hit the save button there. And then you can see all of your changes reflected in the My Energy Zone. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and feel free to email support at opensolar.com if you have any outstanding questions.